So there was a brown hooded kingfisher there, which has just flown. It's landed in front of us actually, so I can stop a little bit ahead. Let's see if it will stay there. VM, can you see it still? It's just on the lowest branches of this tree in front. So that one, yep. If you just look down, there it is. So there's our brown hooded kingfisher that's sitting underneath all the greenery and you can see it's got that little bit of blue on the wing not quite as much as what you'd see from a woodland also the woodland has the black and red beak not just the red of this beak and then also this has got that brownish colorated head so quite an easy bird to identify and these guys are a lot in this section we see them often in the Mulawati area flying from tree to tree to tree and unfortunately for them their time to shine is about to be kind of blunted and, and put out so to speak because woodland kingfishers are about to arrive on mass and when they do unfortunately the brown hooded kingfishers just have to take a back seat they get drowned out by the woodlands and the woodlands being a bigger bulkier bird often will push them away and just find their own place to kind of take over and the brown hooded have to just sit in hiding and wait it also sounds like a few green pigeons calling from around us so i'm just checking there it is right there on top it's a beautiful bird. It's actually right in the sunlight at the moment, so it looks absolutely spectacular. So there's the greenness of the green pigeon, and you can see it's got that little bit of yellow in the beak as well. Red feet, and these birds are very pretty. As far as pigeons go, they are the sort of supermodels of the pigeon race, and they've got a lot more color than what some of the other birds do, that's for sure. And you find them again, same like the brown hooded kingfisher. They love these drainage sections, and the reason why is there's a number of trees is its call and this is a number of trees that are fruiting in this area and so they're going to feed off all kinds of different trees like that so jackalberries the spike thorns um, quarries and these baboon grapes that we saw i would imagine they would go after that and off it goes it's quite strange to see it by itself generally you see them together and kind of in a grouping